Today, Dr. Gaurav Alawadi from the UVA Heart and Vascular Center is here to explain a new procedure doctors are performing at the medical center. But before we get to that procedure, we need to talk about the condition it treats, and that is aortic stenosis, correct? That's right. First of all, tell me what that is. Sure. So each of us have four valves in our body. Mm -hmm. The aortic valve is the most common valve that's effective. It's the, ma the main valve between the pump and chamber of the heart and the body. And with wear and tear, that valve can lead to narrowing. About 7% of people in the United States at some point in their lives will develop some narrowing of that valve. That can have some bad effects. The heart is a muscle, and if you ask the heart to pump against a tight valve, that muscle can get weak or tired. And ultimately, that can cause things like shortness of breath, or chest pain. In fact, it's one of the few things in the heart that can actually lead to sudden death. So when we diagnose severe aortic stenosis, we really ought to think about fixing it as soon as we can. Speaking of fixing, what are the traditional treatments to treat it? Well, in the past, we really only had one way to fix the valve, and that's with open heart surgery. And that's still a very good procedure in the right patient. In that mm -hmm. approach, we open up the breastbone, and we cut out the valve, and we stitch in a new valve. Uh, and patients do very well with that. We now actually have two other ways to do that. Uh, one is with minimally invasive surgery where we perform the same type of procedure through a partial incision mm -hmm. and not open the whole breastbone and that allows for more rapid recovery. And the third procedure is the transcatheter aortic valve or TAVR procedure and that's the newest where we can actually replace the valve without any incision whatsoever. Really? Mm -hmm. So I would think that the downtime is very minimal on something like that or no? Yes, that's right. Uh, with that procedure, uh, the new valves, uh, the way it's designed, it's put on a collapsible metal stent. Uh, the catheter is about the size of, of anybody's finger. We like to get a road to the heart to put the new valve in, and typically we like to use the groin vessels if they're large enough. So we don't need an incision to put the valve in. We use x-ray to put the valve in the correct position and open up the new valve, pushing the old valve out of the way, and the new valve starts working immediately, and patients can go home in a day or two. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's insane. And where can somebody learn about that procedure? Uh, they can go to uh, UVA, heart.uvahealth.com uh, or they can email valve at virginia.edu. Sounds good. All right. Dr. Alawadi, thank you so much for coming out today. Great. Thanks for having me.